And, and hey, next time it could go differently. But now we're seeing the hometown hero. We have, we have extra streaks in winners' finals as well, which I think something's been overlooked. Take me back. Dude. Actually, take me back. We're, we're back in... We're back in Canberra. Yeah, back in Canberra or back at BAM whatever. Yeah, BAM you know, 12, BAM 13. 12, 13. So one of yeah. them. Back to Victoria again. But, hey, I like seeing this. I like seeing uh, the Taicho Luma. I think, like, this is going to be a really interesting set. Taicho's been playing very hot today. Yeah. Like, and we just saw Luma take it over uh, Rebs. Yeah. To and, get here as well. And honestly, like... Congratulations to her. I, I think she was almost having a bit of a cry getting top eight for the first time. Oh, yeah. Um, and, like, you would. Like, after being in it for so long and, like, really, like, having, you know, like, the pinnacle of your career kind of come out, like, you, you know, it's a good time. It's a good time. But this is now into the thick of it. Top eight. You know, you've made it. You've made it past the, uh, the barrier. Yeah, the and... The phrase I heard her other all weekend is it's ninth or first. It's ninth so or first. So it's not ninth. So she's not going to make the whole run. Yeah. I mean, you would be. Like, let's be real. Um, making top eight in an event like this means that you can make first. I, I, I think that, like, there are a very... Oh, there's not a single person left in this bracket that's not beatable. Before. Yeah. I think anyone. I think all eight people in this top eight... They have a shot. ...can make some kind of a run. Yeah, a hundred percent. Um, and we're gonna go straight into it. Me, Brawler, Greninja, Taicho, the, the Incineroar, back in the pocket. You know, like oh, you've yeah. done your, you've done your job. I don't want to play with you anymore. I mean, we were talking about uh, as well. Uh, SA at home. We have SA at home. <laughs> yeah, true. This is the matchup. This is the one that he has the experience against. If there was any. Any Greninja player to know how to fight me Brawler. Yeah. It's the one in the pink shirt who has organized this tournament. Maybe he's already knows. He's like, I can't use Shadow Snake. Because yeah, it gets no, parried and I'll get down here. It's probably like all the permutations have been run. If he's one of the players who takes like notes, he's probably got pages, a book on me Brawler. I'm interested to see, like, Taicho's usage of the up B in this matchup. That's it. Bang. And to be honest, I can't recall seeing too many of those in the rep set. I haven't struggled getting the kill confirms. Yeah. But, like, when you're intimate with a matchup, you know... Th oh, my oh, God. Don't know. <laughs> Never mind. Don't know. <laughs> he was too busy running the tournament during the rep set. Yeah. He had no idea what's going on. Oh, oh Jacob! Oh, you've opened the <laughs> jelly cup, <laughs> finally. Like, oh, wait, I'm like, not there yet. That's crazy. We're almost there. A flash of insight with the jelly cup. And maybe a flash of insight for Luma. It's not going to be as one-sided as we may have initially thought. Oh, what? what? <laughs> Off stage, that's crazy, man. She is like, no matter what character she plays, like she did this with Palutena as well. She consistently like finds little lines and makes things makes things work. Is that, that? Oh my god! Like, don't really make sense to me. It's like it's like no one has oh. ever done that. Having a bit of a freak out. Wow. If you're and once again, here, the set turned around. Like the game turned around there off the the shadow sneak parry. It's different. It's, it's, you might have the Me Brawler experience. You might feel good hitting those kill confirms when you know the weight of a character, when you know, like, how they fly off your moves and, and, like, where their hurtbox is. But there's, there's expression, you know? Oh, for sure. Like, I think Ghost's Me Brawler is worlds away from Luma's Me Brawler. Like, they have, they have similar core tenets, you know, they follow the same basic guidebook, but ultimately, uh, these are players who value very different parts of that, like, the fu the tree of fundamentals. <laughs> Giant strength, you've opened the jelly cup. The jelly's been defeated. The jelly is, like, all over Jason's hands and in the wrapper of can the chocolate I, I, from before. Can I legitimately request some? 
Are there any two <laughs> <laughs> Or napkins or Jason anything? Jason is covered in jelly. Um, and Tytro is covered in really wanting to win this set. Oh, man. And we're seeing a lot of the... Thank you very much. We're seeing a lot of the same trends from the rib set, funnily enough. Down airs, the two frame down airs, the shadow snakes. These uh, are the Luma specials as well. Oh, stuff, for sure. Stuff that we've seen since Palu. Um, down airs, like perfectly placed down airs. Like such a comfortable advantage state player, such a comfortable player looking for reversals as well. Wow. Are we thrupping, Jason? Oh my god, what a catch. This is looking like a bit of a mountain to climb for Brad. Yeah. But like we said, the conversions, they're That's a bit the more there than Brad's. Yeah, exactly. First step of the mountain, baby. Okay, damage. Wow, that was a fox move. Yeah. I didn't Sorry, realize how much like good Greninjas use their jab. Like it's actually like an option that you're, you're kind of going for a lot with Greninja. Dude, wow, that one little bubble of water. Like when you turn on the drink fountain and it gets you in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Have you, have you been there? Like mouths <laughs> open, you press the button, yeah, and it hits you in the eye. You didn't like, oh. expect it to have the velocity that it did. Yeah. Okay, Brad has really got to get out of this. Oh! Hey, you fall out of the Fortnite Flash, you're happy. We're back on the battle bus for Brad Taicho. Oh, okay, gonna do it, yep. Yes. Throw her away, Brad. Oh my god, he's got no jump! He's got no jump, but he makes it back! Time to wipe here. Brad, maybe not what he wanted. Oh, you have to be so careful. I liked it though. Oh, oh my god. He has and just SD. Brad Tartra has stolen game two. That, oh my god. That might be the most pivotal SD of all time. Um, yeah, the ninja has stolen stolen that game. And Stone Cold. Stone Cold Brad. Oh my god. Nah, that's. That's nuts. And you're so happy with that because the momentum was shifting. Oh, yeah, of course. Like, maybe the mountain was... The hill was too much to climb in that game. But you saw something click and mm. Brad was like, all right, can kind of see... If He's got his hiking boots set. on. Now the set's on. And now now we've got a set. You know, like, that game might have gone. It might have been the only way for Brad to get back was the reverse 3-0. Three, three -oh. Yeah. But now... It's 1-1. One, one. Oh, for sure. Like, Brad has so much space. Taicho can work with this. And Luma, I think, even when sometimes the results haven't been there, like, even if this is their first post-COVID top eight, Luma is regarded to be one of, like, the best players in Australia. Oh, yeah. Like, constantly. Like, you, you don't talk about Australia's top, top, top talent without having Tiff in the sentence. Oh, and that's... It's hard to get back from this, and then see you later. And like we said, <laughs> something clicked in Brad's head, and yeah. he went, this is it, I got it now. He's actually worked it out. Like, I think in SA, it's something in the water, and Brad definitely knows how to use that water. Oh, yeah. You've got Those to be used to it your whole life. Yeah, dude. These water jets are actually, like, Proving to be so good against a character who, like, uses the air so much. Like, when you think about it, me Brawler is, like, not somebody who likes to stay grounded. They really love having access to their aerials at all times. Um, even with their down B as, like, another movement option. And Brad being so... Like, look at that. Look at that. Oh, wow. Oh, no way. Okay. Wow. And Brad now with two, like a full stock lead. And you're looking at potentially going down 0-2 a few minutes ago. Like 0-2 and like drastically. And now Brad 
he's worked it out. Is that the stock? No. Nice, the foot's still out of there. Sometimes that catches jump, by the way. Oh, pivot grab. That's the smash four in them. Oh, wow. And it is looking good for Brad, I tell you what. Every little bit of damage here. Greninja's going to get access to those kill confirms now. Oh, he's God, so ducking underneath it. Low. The frog. And to be honest, Bad Guy again. Chip not as aggressive on the ledge traps as I was noticing before. I wonder if she's afraid. Oh no my way! God. That never killed. Why would that flash? Okay. South and Australia's I'll topping off. Uh, honest, honest. Watching some people fight against Luma. I mean, I I played against Luma. I I lost, but you gotta abuse the recovery, especially if you're a character that can edge guard. Mm. Haven't seen many people do it. That's the first instance I've seen of someone really abusing that off-stage game that may brawl a lax and it's, Brad is up to one. It's a little bit hard sometimes because like Thrupper or like Thrust Uppercut, if you don't know why we keep saying Thrupper, Thrust Uppercut is the name of this particular me brawler yeah. up here. But Thrupper is it's quick, it like snaps. Um and it comes from quite low. So even though you like know that she's gonna go there, sometimes it can be tricky to deal with it. Um, it definitely has to be like something that you you do it deliberately. You know, it's a very like it's not as intuitive as it seems. So the fact that Brad is able to like kind of call it out a bit. And the ears are off. Oh, the ears are off. Oh yeah. Yeah, she's she's rejected the animal form. A return to humanity. Wow. And this, this is, okay. Oh, I have to say, if, if Brad gets this first stock, it's scary. And the platform. Yeah, give him some assist there, but. And it's still anyone's stop. Oh my god. The filter mate. Is that dead? Oh, so. It not feels even close. Like, so early. Like, literally pre hit, you were at 80. And it wasn't even, like, at the ledge. Okay, so now she jumps out of life. Big for tip. But this is the loser's bracket, by the way. You oh, lose yeah. here, you are out. You're donezo. Top eight run finishing at tied seventh. So you don't want to lose. Tiff is three stocks away from it at this current state. Get a tag actually putting him working for Brad. Wow. Forward air, gonna be doing it. That'll kill from anywhere at that percent. And you play nice and slow, but uh, Tiff, we're gonna take this stock out. Stock lead would definitely do wonders. Oh, off. Again, oh my he God. is so low with it. And 58 clean just off the dash attack. Oh my God. Yeah, you gotta be. You gotta get out. No way. It's even. What happened? Oh my God. Wow. And Brad's in the lead. Brad. I, I think I even saw a little cheeky smile from old Stoneface Taijun. Yeah. He was like, damn. He was like, alright. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of good with it. Yeah, him. I'm kind of yeah, sick. Yeah, okay. And, and now every little bit of damage is closer to the end of Luma's run. Oh this my. last stock could be it. Or it, yeah? or it could be Luma's ticket back into the running, into a game five. 70%! I'm 
I'm just ready for someone to die obscenely early. I don't know who. Oh, that could be it. No way. Alive. 100 in the blast zone. Getting off the. No, I don't think so. No, 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 no. no. Oh, we're still in it. We're still in it. We're still in it. I've seen. Hey, mate. I've felt it. <laughs> Green Brawler does not care about your percent lead. This character doesn't die. Nah, that's it. Not nah, just except, a bit too except late. for when it's a and the huge pop off. Everyone running up for Brad. You love to see the run at your own tourney. Oh, for sure. You love to see the run in your home state with all your homies cheering you on. Your partner there as well. If there's anybody in this venue who deserves a little bit of a treat after running a great tournament, oh yeah, you know, might be Brad Teicher. Oh yeah. And as well, that might be a little bit bittersweet for Luma, finishing her round at seventh. But I think it's this it's one. <laughs> time for a little bit of a swap. Oh yeah, for um, sure. Thank you so much, guys. It was a blessing being here with you. It was a yeah. It was a it was a ride. Some Great amazing sex. sets. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. Um, but thank you very much. Thanks, Duon. Yeah, thanks, that's it. Yeah, thanks. It was good. Yeah, it was good. I no, uh, just to the jelly cup. Yeah, for the did, final I, I final did, bit of lore. I did open the jelly cup. We got cup. there in the end. Thank you, bro. Every single set, we were while we were commentating, we were trying to open that jelly cup. That is disgusting. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, guys.